Hi guys, this is Rosemary. Uh, today I decided to come outside with Alfred. Connie is nowhere to be seen. She's inside the house. And I want to ask Alfred a few questions, so um, bear with me because I'm doing this uh, all at the spare, you know, moment. And uh, I kind of know what I want to ask him, and then he's just going to take it from wherever he wants to take it. But I'm going to give you a little background about Alfred. Uh, I don't know his history background, but I do know that he's been with my sister uh, close to 18 years. Yes. Yes. And uh, Connie was about 250 pounds when they met, or maybe 216, something, something to that effect. And he's loved her ever since. He's a, he's a quiet man, but very intelligent. If he could go to school forever, he would be in school forever. He loves that much. He, he's an educated man. Um, what I see and what I've seen in all the years that he's been with my sister is that he loves her. He's a very good man, and I don't want to start crying, Alfred, but <clears throat> what I see is that even though maybe he wants to do things he won't do them for the love that he has for Connie. Um, so I think that when the, I think the question I really want to ask right now is, what do you see in the future for both of you? And I mean, I know it's going to be slow at the beginning, but but we're, what are your dreams for you and Connie? What are your dreams for Connie alone? I mean. You can start anywhere you want. I'm going to turn you around, and you're going to be introduced to Alfred. Alfred Bailey. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Well, my dreams for Connie are that she will uh, she will transform just like her sister Rose did, uh, and I can see us doing things, going places, you know, living the living the life. Uh, I call this my second half since I'm over 50, so. I feel good about it. It's like a transformation for me, uh, and and I had a plan B. Uh, I'm a believer, so you know, if Plan A doesn't work, then Plan B is always there for you to fall back on. And my Plan B was, to, you know, to, I like to do research, I like to study. So I'm like a kid all over again. I like being a great kid as far as information-wise, because I'm learning things. I never paid attention to. I didn't have time to do when I was younger and working and you know chasing after this and that the dream. But uh, now there's a different dream, and uh, of course I'm more disciplined now, so I can sit down and think about things. So, uh, Connie, you know, Connie was. Uh, I've learned uh, what it means to uh, become one, and that's the whole. That's, that's our concept because I try to. Uh, Pass that on to her is that two becoming one, they have to become one. They're not are one, but they become that. So that takes time, and you know, that means they all together. So uh, we both are willing, and here we are. So uh, as far as uh, me being active, I like to work out, and I like, you know, I, I like traveling too. Uh, but hey, I, I've, been, I've been to uh, Orion and Pleiades because you can go either way. You, if you, mind you can go wherever you want to you can go through you know to, to, about this depth of the universe if you, if you know where you know if that's where you want to go without chemicals so uh but uh i'm, I'm happy about this I, and i told my wife you know we're changing this is like our uh our zenith so to speak it's a new beginning for both of us uh so i'm ready to uh, uh to use the phrase to put a uh, to use quote take the trip What's your biggest dream? You know, if it, you know, if it was happening tomorrow, what would be that dream for you and Connie, or for Connie? Well, of course, to uh, to be able to do things together. You know, I wish you, you know we could go to a beach somewhere, travel, and and you know I could pick her up and put her on my shoulder and you know toss her around a little bit. <laughs> uh, that would be one thing. But you know, it, it would be it would be very interesting to you know to. 
to be able to maybe try along the beach or something uh, just you know to ride a bike together stuff like that just doing some things that I love to do together that would be that would be a, a, a dream come true then how are you going to support Connie I mean I know that I'm here and and she's loving the exercise and I wanted to mention that it's not my idea for her to walk an hour it's her idea she pushes herself how are you going to contribute to her weight loss well we've already talked about that because like when she met me out I, I mean I started exercising when I was in my 20s so I've been talking to her about that over the, you know over the years uh, how to start a regiment and keep it up so my support is, is to be there and participate that's what I do anyway I work out uh, on the, you know walking in the treadmill and, and biking you know she can't bike but she can walk and I told her how to split it up so she wanted to try to do it all at one time so I'll be there supporting her as a coach and you know as a husband as a friend you know. you're not going to be her uh what are, what are those soldiers? Uh, drill master? Yeah, you're not going to be a drill master. I know, because I know you. No. But I know that you can do this. Uh, when she wants to give up, are you going to let her? No, no. Okay. No, I mean, I have too much support that you, I'm going to give you a call. I have you come back over <laughs> here and, you know, get on her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just me alone. I understand that. She's got a big support group. What so. do you see Connie now? I mean, I know that, I know that she's anxious. She doesn't have a sur surgery date as of yet. Yeah. But how do you see Connie? Just like you. No, how do you see Connie uh, when she has her surgery? I mean, I know that she's she's more than willing. Is what well, I'm trying to say. When you say see her, what do you mean? What do you mean? What form I see? What, what shape? Uh, what no, size? No, no. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, yeah, okay. We can That's go all there. I see. Hey, you, to to me, you are the twin. Right? Yeah. You're the exact copy. Well, but but wait a minute. Oh, well, we're not talking about attitudes <laughs> and stuff like that, but I, I do see the same thing. Okay. I, I see her as you. You know, she's going to still have a, be her, who she is. And we're not talking about that, but I see, I see as size-wise, being able to do things, I see as... Do you like think that. she's going to keep up the motivation? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think she's going to be motivated. Once she's, I think once the big change occurs, because, uh, you know, from my little research, that's where change occurs. There's always a serendipity, a uh, uh, epiphany that happens, something to get you kick started, a deja vu or whatever, and then once that happens, you, you get an insight into something or a feeling or a thrill and you always want to, you, you always want to achieve that. Okay. So you, that's, that's your, it becomes your goal is to reach that same level again or even beyond because it just gets better and better as time goes on. Now tomorrow we're off to Houston and what do you want to say to Dr. Uh, Garth Davis, and I know that you want to meet Connie Stapleton. What do you want to tell them? Well, I want to say to Dr. Uh, Dr. Garth that I'm glad he changed his mind. Uh, I, I remember reading in his book about how his dad changed his mind, you know. Uh, so I'm glad he changed his mind. And, and about I can what? See, about surgery? Yeah, about the type of surgery, about the, 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 the bypass surgery altogether. I'm glad you changed your philosophy about it. I'm glad you started doing it, practicing it. And uh, I agree with everything that's, that, I mean, it's, it's looking at it, it makes very much sense. It's, it's so, it's right there. You know, if you if you do things to help the person who can't help themselves, then that works. And, and that's the way I see life too, you know. Uh, you, gotta have, you got to do things to make the change. And we have to be, we are adaptable creatures, so to speak. And transformation, I, you know, I, I believe that she was supposed to transform. Have you read Connie Stapleton's book? No. Oh, okay, but you do want to meet her? Yes. Okay, yes. you'll get to meet her tomorrow. Yes. Yvonne is going to be uh, also her mentor. I don't know if, if you remember me talking about Yvonne. Yeah. And uh, what do you want to tell the Weight Loss Foundation of America? I want to say uh, that you have started a journey that is uh, fantastic, and, and I can see it just like a uh, like a seed planted, you know. And it starts to grow, and you get a leaf or whatever, uh, and then it starts to bear fruit. So that's what I see it as: something wonderful, uh, a new world for those people who've been uh, not been able to enjoy uh, uh, live that abundant life. Okay.
Thank you for answering these questions for me, my brother-in-law. Okay. And uh, we will see you when we see you. We'll, we're on our way to the OH uh, conference. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.